first uh, good uh, result from here, okay? And I will uh, like to thank all the uh, government associations and the uh, partners for our show. And basically, our media partners, some of them are uh, present here also. And we are very thankful to them uh, so that this exhibition becomes a mega success. And if you talk about the uh, facts and figures, like we have got 100 plus exhibitors, in which we have got uh, starting with uh, e-cycle, uh, two wheelers, two wheelers also we have got scooters and uh, bikes, then we have got three wheelers. We have got a good range of three wheelers who will be displayed. Because e-auto is now like uh, the last mile delivery. So a lot of people are uh, and uh, ensuring that if the product or goods reaches to the last uh, person. So within that we have got a conference also. Exhibition is basically for three days, okay? And within that exhibition on the second day we have got a conference which has got four panel discussions we have got within the conference. So for that also like we have got good number of speakers which are into, into two-wheelers and the three-wheelers category. And this is all about the event, okay? And three of our exhibitors are present here. And Mr. Padmanathan is one of them from uh, EV Nexus. So I would like to invite uh, Mr. Padmanathan on the stage. Thank you. You said you can speak that uh, you did a bit of research before choosing between manual and channel. Yeah, yeah. And channel form, you found to be more feasible for this activity. So now that the government stand here, or the state government stand to uh, increase the value for the EV, the consumption, mm -hmm. how do you think it will impact the arrival of the EV rate? See, sir, again I reiterated what I said. Okay, see, uh, there are a lot of shows coming up in uh, Bangalore, this still Karnataka. And Karnataka is like far ahead as compared with uh, this particular region. So there were a lot of shows happening in that region, okay? But what we thought that ki, Tamil Nadu wanted something to be done. So that was the reason we stepped ki, instead of doing in Bangalore, we should do it in Chennai. This is kind of an initiative, basically. Okay. Yes, we took it as an initiative campaign for the people. Because here only hardly one or two shows and they are not doing that much in a very, very professional way. So we thought of let's uh, take this initiative and do it on this uh, particular reason. So feedback from the industry people only they said it, they came to Chennai and understand the people they talk about it but nobody uh, comes as a business uh, perspective way for them. Uh, as of now, the, so many manufacturers from Pan India hasn't got any business out of it what they are looking around for Tamil Nadu. But uh, they are hoping that from some uh, you know event, some See, these are the events who, you know, basically uh, push the governments and the policies and the people and the manufacturers. It's all connected things. So, Bangalore is automatically, again, like he said, it's all ahead. And Delhi is also ahead. Even Delhi government is taking initiative by, you know, running the electric by buses yes. yes. commercially. But Tamil Nadu hasn't done anything as of now. So, what, why they are doing it? Because they, uh, the people, we, the people, you know, took the initiatives like that only. So that's what we are thinking in that way, the Tamil Nadu is way back and one of our uh, MSME uh, director I met uh, last week, he told me the same thing, why Tamil Nadu always comes, you know, backstage ahead of other states because they, you know, uh, take times because uh, they wanted to go into a deeper knowledge of that subject and when, one word he said, when Tamil Nadu adapts something, automatically Pan India will adapt that. So that's what the thing is. So maybe people are you know taking time, they are getting into the depth of the knowledge, but still there is a lot more uh, you know understanding. So through these are events, people will interact, they do networking, then they might have you know go for a business perspective ahead. Right? Yeah. Hopefully that's that should give a break. Exactly, exactly. Yes, so we yes. are taking it as an initiative campaign, this conference and the exhibition to be honest. Sir. Yes, just to uh, add, add out this few lines, like uh, as he said, let's see, usually in other states you can see a lot of uh, each electric buses. But in Chennai or in Tamil Nadu it's very rare. Okay, this is one thing, okay. And secondly, like what we can say, let's see, uh, from last uh, six to eight months, there are two, three government bodies which are taking a lot of uh, initiatives. Like for example, FAME, FAME TN. FAME TN is very aggressive now, okay, in terms of from last six to eight months. And probably guidance, uh, the Tamil Nadu. So these two are taking a lot of initiatives. So if we, we come with this uh, scene, then maybe jointly we can do something. So that the push goes towards the upper end and maybe the government would take take, take, take that. So that we wanted. I think that the question has now. Yes, yeah. Are you going to yeah. tire two cities? Pardon? Tire two cities. 
the entire two cities we can think of because uh, probably uh, we just wanted to have the uh, like how the Chennai thing works, okay? After Chennai, we can go to the other uh, smaller towns also. But instead of doing a full fledged exhibition, we can do few conferences, basically for one or days or two days. Or maybe we can take a hotel and we can do a conference. That is much more uh, good as compared with the events. How many overseas uh, participants are participants? Overseas, we have got five uh, companies, okay, which are coming from abroad, but uh, some of them have their uh, Indian presence also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, inviting the government also. Like after this, we'll be getting to the uh, sheet the, uh, for the first year of the event. So we, we are uh, basically uh, all the three days we have a different different uh, ministers will be coming up. Uh, as of now, we have uh, education minister of Tamil Nadu and as well as the environmental minister exactly. and the uh, environmental minister. So we need to uh, rework on which day who will be available. So on all the three days we have a uh, availability of the ministers accordingly. And like I said, MSME director Mr. Uh, S Suresh Ji Bab Babuji is also available. Uh, in the inauguration as a guest of honor and along with it uh, we'll be in the, in the conference as well. So we are trying to you know push the government people to come and you know talk to the people directly who are the you know industry makers basically who are working into EV segments and these people are going to question those people and they will also understand. So that's what the motto is you know to make a bridge between the manufacturers, government officials and uh, your uh, even even uh, the entrepreneurs, so many people who wanted to you know understand what this EV segment is all about. It's a business perspective for them, so it will be a more knowledge platform, I can say, along with it. If we talk about the government, we have got uh, exclusive pavilion from uh, state of Jharkhand. Yes. Jharkhand from there, they are coming and uh, displaying their services and the like to be uh, what all they can benefit in terms of these. So from Jagan also we have a separate, uh, basically a uh, one. Uh, did you invite any uh, industry leaders like uh, Anand Mahindra and uh, somebody? Yeah, we have got uh, participation from Anand, their conference union is participating with us. From Anand, Anand Mahindra, yeah, yeah. industry yeah, leaders. There is, uh, Anand group is there, Mahindra is there, and uh, even, uh, there are uh, one more one is uh, Korean, but they have the collaboration for the, you know, Indian corporate, that is uh, Mahindra is also. So they are also participating. They are participating. Yeah, so they are participating. So I want to know. One Korean company and Mahindra. They are participating with the collaboration. Both and the any, any top leaders are participating in the conferences? The conferences? Yes, yes. We have the availability of Mr. Udin Arang. He is from Omega City Mobility. He is there. And we have a president from FADA. That is Federation of uh, Automotive Dealers Manufacturers Association. Uh, he will be there at the conference. We have a whole actor, he can uh, speak about it. Yeah, all the Andy Green is there, Mr. Amitabh Saran. Andy Green, Mr. Amitabh Saran is also there in the press conference. Then we have uh, from the battery divisions as well, so many people, e Propel in India, we have there. Uh, and uh, we have uh, two via inner charging in the stations. We, then we have locally, there is one company, Plugpot. Uh, he is uh, basically a charging manufacturer, charging stations manufacturer from Tamil Nadu. He will also be there at the conference. We have four, four different slots of the conference basically. Uh, the first slot is on focused on e-mobility, the second one is on battery manufacturing and the third one is on charging stations infrastructure and the fourth one is related to finance in e-mobility. So these so four slots of the conference will be on 27th starting from 9.30 in the morning until 4 in the evening. So back to back. Every session, every panel discussion, there will be a debate and there will be a speaker, uh, speaking slots as well. And uh, in, in the panel discussion, people will talk about that. The, in the general public can also, you know, question to the people who are doing the business. Whatever the query they have, they'll answer that. It's a panel, open, open panel discussion, you can say. So it will be a healthy uh, thing for the people, those who wanted to go into that uh, so how many total number, total number of speakers are 31. 31 speakers we have got for these four uh, panel discussions. And so the leading player of the EV is uh, EV Nexus from Chennai. He's the leading company because he has a full plan product of uh, EV jerseys. We talk about two wheelers, three wheelers, four wheelers, all kind of products uh, range he has. Right? He 
Okay. Uh, how many EV startups from Tamil Nadu are participating in the exhibition? Is yeah, around the 6 to 7 expeditions here. Yeah, around 6 to 7 expeditions here. Which are set up? Even we have a bus as well. Yeah. We have a display of electric bus. Also there. From the motors. From? Three motors. Three motors. So I have a question from the customer. Consumers point of view. There will be few instances where in, uh, of course, few only that uh, uh, the Welcome to Old Media. And uh, actually, as I'm uh, speaking honestly, I've been in Chennai for the last one month. I'm uh, meeting all the people like who are in the industry, TV manufacturer, dealer, traders, suppliers, even who are the consumers. Uh, I feel that uh, people are well aware about this. Even because they are getting the support of the Tamil Nadu uh, government, they are taking very good initiative to support these industries. All the manufacturers are, you know, uh, manufacturing the well uh, technologized products for this EV industries. And those who are using this, they are still very happy and they are, you know, encouraging other people also to adopt this uh, ecosystem of the uh, EV industries. Because it is, you know, decreasing the you know, pollution from our environment, it is a good initiative. And all the manufacturers like the EV Nexus is the leading player of this uh, Tamil Nadu state. He is manufacturing like a two-wheeler, three-wheeler, four-wheeler and he is helping to the people and the industry as well. So, our, we are the expertise in the you know, events industries. We are just coming in EV industries to support our, you know, people, you know, to uh, come back from the, you know, bad pollution environment. It is a great initiative. So, we thanks to all the, you know, manufacturers from the Tamil Nadu, EV Nexus, some more, uh, Prabha engineers, they are reporters, they are, they are also displaying the product. They are the leaders of the this Chennai market. And uh, it's a great initiative. I feel it's a, a well adopted step for the you know, people and uh, the government and the industrials. It's a teamwork from the Tamil Nadu. This is just I just want to say. It's a good initiative for the, for the government and the industry. And people are very happy and well aware they are going to adopt this. Uh, Pollution-free technology in Tamil. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And around 100 plus companies who are displaying their products in the exhibitions, 200 around the brands, and 400 products you will, uh, you know, people will see over there. It's a great technology. What are coming in the new? All the products are saving the, you know, uh, budget of the local people. If we talk about the petrol and the, you know, uh, this EV system, it, there is a great difference. And they are just uh, saving the money of the uh, people who are using this. It's uh, also helping the local people also. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for coming, everyone. A very good afternoon to all. Myself, Mubar Shadilagi. Um, sorry for the delay. Actually, we were supposed to, you know, uh, have some other activities and simultaneously other things as our dignitaries, other people will be here. But nevertheless, so the point is, uh, Future X Trade Fairs and Image Private Limited is basically a exhibition organizing firm. Uh, our head office is basically in Chennai. That is our corporate registered office, and we have a, a main head office is now in Delhi. So along with it, we do exhibitions uh, across Pan India as well as out of India in Sark region. Futurex is basically organizing exhibitions in Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Tanzania, and then in Oman. And uh, along with it, we do not even on electric vehicle segment, but we also do exhibitions in you know uh, building construction material, mining, uh, your printing, packaging, plastics and uh, n number of exhibitions actually. For this particular year, Futurex is doing approximately 54 year exhibitions uh, in this 2023 to 2024. So, Futurex is basically, you know, for this particular event that is electric vehicle, this is our second edition, last edition we did in Pune. And that was a, a very good exhibition actually as, for, as uh, for the, you know, feedbacks given by the companies who participated with us over there. And uh, it was uh, like uh, same same with those companies who participated with us over that Pune exhibition has now 
also taken us stalls and they will be uh, representing their uh, products over there in Chennai simultaneously. So, Futurex as of now, like I said, it's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, already working in this industry since 13 years and we have uh, our managing director, Mr. Swami Prem and Vishi and our director, Mr. Namit Lokta. So, under their guidance, we have uh, working uh, day and night for these exhibitions. So, I hope, uh, uh, I would like to thank everybody who is, you know, coming uh, here and uh, representing us as a brand in this electric vehicle division and I would like to, you know, congratulate uh, all the participants who will be participating in this Chennai exhibition and a uh, very, very, uh, you know, best of luck for all those participants. Thank you. Thank you so much.